Today we are going to create a really cool neon portrait look. Hello my friends and let's get started. So this is the picture that we want to end up with and this is the picture we started with. As you can see it's just a very normal studio portrait shot, nothing special about it and we will add some special to it right now. So I prepared some pictures and they are just neon lights. So I will link the portrait picture and these pictures in the video description. You can find more like them. Just search for neon light or neon glow, stuff like that. And this in the background here is a bouquet light. So you can also search for this and just layer them and play with the blend effects of the different layers and you will get some really amazing results. Let's start with this one. And I will overlay it over the picture and use the blend mode to mix it with the background. So I will set this blend mode to lighten, but you can just switch through all of them and find something looks amazing to you, something that works with the picture and the layer. So be creative, don't be afraid to just try it out and find something that looks amazing. Let's find a position that's interesting, keeps the face mostly free. So this seems to be a good position. And something cool, a nice trick that you can do right now is duplicate the layer and then go here to effects and activate Gaussian blur and then blur it. And you can see this gives it a really nice glow that makes the light even more impressive and warm and kind of dreamy. So this is really cool. And you can switch around the blend mode of the second blurred layer. For example, instead of lighten, you could use screen, which will blow out the colors a little bit. You can see they are getting pretty white on some um, in some areas, but at the same time, the light starts to look more intense. So it really depends on what you want to have. And you can reduce the effect by just reducing the opacity so you get really the kind of glow and the kind of brightness that you want to have in your neon effect. Okay, let's use another one. I will lock these layers so I'm not accidentally moving them. And then we will use this one. I will put it on the top. There we go, you can see a really nice um, effect layer that I just downloaded from the internet. And it's really a nice way to spice up your pictures in the post-production. So it's really cool. Let's try something here. In this case, screen looks nice because, it, and now we are in a position where we also mix with the other, other layers. And you can see lighten is interesting, but it's not strong enough. We need something stronger and screen is getting stronger in here. So this is pretty nice. And again, just move it where you feel it's interesting. Of course, you can also rotate it. You can do with it whatever you want and whatever inspires your creativity. So this is really cool. We can even make it much bigger, maybe move it like this. So we have most of the rings out of the way. Although I want to have some of the rings in the face because I want to show you something. And that is if there is too much going on in a critical part of the image, like now, you can just click down here where it says mask layer. So it creates a mask. Open this with a little triangle and then use your brush. There we go. Set it to a black color and then have a good large size of the brush. Reduce the opacity a little bit and set the hardness to zero so it's very soft. And by reducing the opacity, it's uh, not applying a full, uh, how can I say, full opacity of the layer. It's not getting hidden completely. So you have you have to use uh, multiple strokes and this will give you a finer way and a better way to control how much you want to hide from that layer. So I really like this kind of going over it multiple times with my brush to hide something because it's kind of more control, it's easier to handle. There you go. The face is still visible in a very nice way. And the next thing, because we have in the background still a lot of not too interesting light, a lot of gray going on, we are going to use our bouquet layer here. And we will put this on the lowest end of our layers, on the lowest uh, position and just stretch it out over all of the picture. Here we go. 
and let's set this maybe to hard light in this case there we go let's zoom out a little bit so we can see where the picture is starting and ending and I mean you can put it wherever you want uh, maybe we leave it like that it's a different picture than the one I showed you at the beginning but this is about creativity and finding your own artistic expression and again there is maybe a little bit too much going on on the face so we click on our mask there we go and we can then select the mask and use our brush to I make it transparent this layer and you can see we can bring out the face again maybe use it more up here so we have a clean look of that part of the face while the other one stays a little bit in color and if you want to if you feel like you have reduced it too much you can just switch the color to white and then paint over it again and it will bring back um, the visibility of that layer so this is pretty nice and I want to show you an additional effect. I will just delete this group real quick so my RAM is not filling up too much my memory. And the thing that we can do now is just create a pixel layer and use your brush, make it smaller. Yeah, this size is kind of okay. Set it to wet edges, that's important, and set it to screen. Yeah, uh, maybe I make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And now I will set it to an interesting color. We can even pick a color from the background. It should be kind of a bright color. Uh, let's see what is good. This is kind of nice. Or maybe, let's see, maybe a more bluish color like this. This is kind of okay. And now what you can do is just paint some strokes. And you can see it has this kind of interesting uh, look with edges that are a little bit darker and I will just put some strokes here into my picture and then we're gonna apply a very nice effect there we go okay this is enough so now we are going to take the pixel layer and set it also to screen and then we will just duplicate it and move it around a little bit you can see it starts to look really interesting. Let's move this up a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Duplicate it again. Move it around. Maybe rotate it a little bit. There we go. And duplicate it again. Move it a little bit again. Okay, very nice. We can group this. And then you can still move it around wherever you feel it might look better or might look more interesting. Of course, you can also leave it out if you don't like it. But this is a nice way to add some interesting structures that you have hand painted and they have some kind of a neon look to them. So this is pretty nice. It's a pretty easy and nice way to add some neon structure to your image. Let's make this even bigger. Put it over here. There we go. You can see it has some nice details. It adds some kind of liveliness to the picture and your own personal touch because you have drawn it by hand. And if you feel like there is too much going on in the picture, you can still go to the separate layers and just reduce the opacity so you get less of an effect. You can even hide some layers if you want and you can find out what is a look that looks good to you what is kind of an interesting composition that you want to see as your picture so this is pretty okay i will leave it like that okay i will just leave it like that so this is the end of the episode thank you for watching i'm looking forward to see what you have created with this kind of crazy neon effects and if you like my videos, maybe subscribe. I do a new video every three days. If you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you get additional benefits like you get the original files with all the layers. You can post me pictures to get feedback from me and you can even live chat with me if you have some questions or want to see a topic done in my videos in the future. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.